Okay, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is... Is it part 24, I believe? So, uh, the last... Sorry for the weird cut from the last video. Um, my laptop had actually died halfway through, so... I'm gonna actually redo a couple of missions. I only did two. Well, my laptop died, and then also, uh... The recording got messed up, so... There's a couple of missions I want to redo. Literally just two, I believe. And yeah, it was these two right here. Horsemen Apocalypses and a Fine Night of Debauchery. So, go ahead and do this one. Um, this one actually takes place back at Shady Bell in camp. We got attacked by the O'Driscolls. And we find out what happened to Kieran. He was, <laughs> well, like it says, he's mutilated. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Replay this mission to show you guys what you missed. So. For playing a mission, the game will create a restore point once the play has ended. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah, we'll do that. And show you guys what I missed. Or what you guys missed. So hang tight. How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. Oh, Lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. You get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah. A few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. I went down there, I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? What the hell have they done to me? Look, they're in the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or Driscoll boys are coming! Good boy. Let's head on downstairs, close to the front door. Oh, my side arm. I think one of the missions is to use your side arm. Stay away from the window. Front door here, see what Dutch needs. This is going out, actually. Get inside, fast! Come on, quick! Don't let anyone back through that door! That's right, bitch. Got it. What the? Hell. You cornered now, you know good bastard. Sure, I oh. Everyone accounted for. What I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. I don't know. I think. There must be that kind of thing. You're about to meet your sorry fate. Oh, yeah. That's 
Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. I see you, man. Okay. I'm about to say, Sadie. Which she can actually handle herself. Hold on. To be honest. He's a beast. Why didn't you get inside? I miss all this? Come on, Arthur. Now we go back. Games, woman. We need you in the house, Mrs. Sandler. Oh, no, thank you. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Very nice. So it's kind of like a flashback mission almost, the way I'm doing this. And the next one is Trelawney's mission, I believe. Go ahead and make our way to a boat. Try to do a another job where we get some more money. This one uh, doesn't end so pretty either, but <laughs> we do make it out alive, so. Start that one up as soon as I get back. Here we go. So that one is, oops, let's go to progress. Story, chapter four. Nice. Shoot the O'Driscolls in the boat before they disembark. Oh, didn't do that. Oh, well, whatever. I got them last time. I thought I did, at least. All right, so this is the second one that, uh, second video where my 
God, I didn't, I didn't get any of that. <laughs> Second mission that I didn't get to show because my recording was fucked. So, here we go. dear boy. Yes, here I am. Well, we're going to need to get you smartened up a bit. Why? Well, you can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee riverboat looking like this. You can't? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now, come on. Are we still doing that? <laughs> of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get a new Hello, PC for you, Arthur. <clears throat> Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the Duke he really is. It was the English's fault. A very good choice, oh, sir. I'm a great, a bitter and jealous people. Very nice. Come on, let's get you to the barber. I kind of oh. wish you could have got a hat good too, but whatever. Night, Beggars can't be choosers. Herr Strauss it was free. scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in. And you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might. But perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we... You, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on. My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend? Okay, here? let's get silver with. I'm supposed to shave off everything. This unlikely fellow has made himself a fortune in the oil fields. And learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly like manners. Well, very good, sir. No, very nice. it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables there, tonight. Very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. Let's do it. I've arranged some transportation. I'll hop on this coach real quick. Go away to the boats. Evening, gentlemen. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad to Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't whinny up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to buy. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? You all right, by the way, driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Bly. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Man's Arthur. Got connections. We're all the authors of our own good Wait fortune. Words. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry, that has all been arranged. 
Your trips will be great. Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Very nice. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They are searchers when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. Now remember okay. what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Now, gentlemen, how wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. Hi, mister. Let's do it. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. I ain't got any. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. <laughs> now where can I roll. get a cocktail? The second table here is where we're going to be playing. We have a chair here with your name Very on it, sir. Nice. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Evening. Desmond Blythe. Evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. So you're supposed to focus I on like this joint already. This one we aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fair? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Supposed to Wait, fold this first one, I Desmond think. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. To hell with it. Here we go then. Well, Hello, my ladies. Damn it. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I school? would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Sorry to do this to you, but I have no choice. All in. All right, me too. No, I'm gonna call. Interesting. Hair cowgirls. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning. Well, I heard. Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. 
real fine. Swiss, a Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay, I trust you. Now play as you wish. So you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation heads up in New Hanover. Okay, two kings. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. I believe I'm Callahan. supposed to go all in again. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his well, own good fortune. Nothing Very nice. adventured, nothing gained. I heard that line before when the dealer Bear said. Kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh oh. Yes, there it is. you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. <laughs> well played, sir. Pissed. On Rocky Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Why the fuck not? Gentlemen. Please, cash these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. Will do. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next, we'll be hiring Negroes. <laughs> I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. It's probably better that way. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. What little you have, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. I'll take that. Let's get your ass there. Yes, you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? Bitch. Smart of them though to have two guns. I'm on it. View in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's do let's it. Let's go meet the others. Shall sure. we? Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. Was that a gunshot? It sounded like one. Come on. And. How exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! <laughs> My thoughts exactly. I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> At the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> ah, look, there's your friend. He's not a no good cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. 
There he is. Now, don't be a sore loser, friends. Something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! Oh, oh boy. Last one in the water. Well, never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch. Uh, apparently, it's worth a bunch of Swiss, a, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> We'll give it back then. <laughs> All right, come on, let's get out of here. Very nice. And those were the two missions that got fucked up on my recording. So, didn't, uh, didn't miss anything else, really. Other than, you know, trekking back and forth on the horse. That's about it. How the heck did I get up here? All right, so. Well, I'll save that. Why not? Okay, so I'm gonna head over to Dutch. Is he closer than the other one? Yeah, Eagle Eyes. He's pretty deep. Pretty far away. Right? Wait. Am I tripping? Yeah, his mission's all the way up here. Or Eagle Flies. Eagle Eyes. <laughs> Let's see, let's head to Dutch. I don't know what else got cut off from that video, but... My bad. Dutch is kind of far. I don't want to do first person. I'd rather not run all the way, but... My horse ain't that close. And Dutch is right here, so... You know, I don't know if this is gonna show if I had on the last video, but there was a part where I did a little, uh... I had to pretty much drive a little toy boat for a guy. A new technology. It's, uh, oh, do do? it's wireless, you know? So it's pretty cool. In here? Yeah, it does should be here. Alright, so now from here on everything's new. So let's see what goes on. Alright, maybe not there. Here we go. There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! 
Okay, then. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill Look, you. Need you need to give me all Mr. your money S, now. these fine okay, folks with their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Hand over all your money now. Give it up, son. Quick. Alright, looks like well, I gotta rob this guy. Let's not take too I much said, time. Open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Do you want yes. me to of course. Come on, man. Quicker than that. Come on. These people are itching to part with their valuables. Okay. Give me everything you got. Here. Quick. There's nothing really here. You're sure. Oh, yes. man. Then get out here and get ready for company. Look at this guy. All of you! Behave! It's taking way too long. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't yeah. think they keep much <clears throat> cash in there. Open it! Give me that shit. It don't look like much. Fuck. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn. We shit. got a problem. <laughs> There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now. We got you surrounded. That's Sing greasy son now. of a bitch. He set us up. You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Go Something. The trolley. The trolley. Follow me, gentlemen. Okay. Go now. Go. I wish I had my weapons. Shoot us some space. Oh yeah. We got more on the right. That's an order. Watch those side alleys, Arthur. We got someone about me too. Must have called in every cop in the city. I'll see him. Some riders coming on this side. Arthur, cover our left. Plenty. Kid, you up there. Wake up. We'll wake up after we get the hell out of here. 
Oh yeah. All right, enough of the cinematic camera, please. We got time for that. Step down, bitch. Do I get hit? Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a good shot, honey. You got a Lenny. There we go. I definitely thought I missed that. <laughs> right. See any more? Just keep going, kid. You okay back there? Don't worry about me. Just get us out of here. Who that was close? Glad nobody died too. That's it. It would have been Lenny if anybody. So glad he didn't die. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Whoa, bandana just Next came Next time, off. let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Nope. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. 
Even after that? Especially after that! I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. It's true. But we're alive. That was pretty damn close, though. And honestly, considering how many freaking people were coming after us, I didn't take too many shots. Kill talent, 10 lawmen. Damn, almost. That was real close. Preventing lawmen jumping in the back of the wagon. Very nice. Alright, so next. Probably gonna head up to. Jesus. Feels like we just got there, too. That's crazy. Well, I guess that's the only mission I can do, really. It's gonna be quite a bit of a trek, so. Eagle fl flies. That's right, that's his name. The next thing I do. And that is ways away, so. Yeah, I'll probably just put that on another video. So yeah, let me end this one this and this one right here. That was quite eventful. And considering I had to backtrack and do all those old uh those two old missions I already did. Just kinda made up for yeah. anything else. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. And until the next part, peace out. <laughs>